Hi guys. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome <laughs> to our video channel. My name's David. And my name's <laughs> Norton. Norton Endberger. <laughs> Now, as you can see, Hella is moving. Now well, that's a good thing. <laughs> Hi, I'm Barry Scott! <laughs> nice. Now here we have our advisor about to launch the boat. It's been a project which has been worked on for the past uh, 50 years. <laughs> Now, guys, as we can see, we've got contact with the water here. Uh, remote here, so I'm just going to up the throttle. Could you describe this as a good product? I would, for the price, you can't beat it. Ah. Watch out for you for the second time now. So there's a lot more speed. What sort of speeds do you reckon we're going to be achieving with this? Possibly. 200 miles an hour. <laughs> 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 Majestic, doesn't it? It does. It does run very well. Especially if we get some good angles here. Oh, yeah, we're filming. Look at that, majestic. When does it say it's filming? There. It's not filming, though, is it? Yes. Okay. If it, it wasn't, is. it would be a big circle. Right, Miles, so we're just going to bring in the boat here. And we're going to have an internal look at the motor, the ESC, and the servo setup we have here. Okay. In here we have the ESC, 4x18650 batteries, this is a 2S setup, so 7.4 volts, and we've got the FSI3 receiver there. This ESC is rated at 20 amps, mm. and it has got rubber dampers underneath to limit the vibration. In the back here we have the server, this is a Metal Gear 995 server, which is more than up to the job. You see the uh, propeller set up and the rudder set up at the back here. <coughs> As you can see, that's a 30mm sink alloy propeller there. Quite a nice little setup, more than enough for the job. Nice. A little bit of weed there. Dodge that, <laughs> <laughs> Dodge that nicely. Nice. You definitely want to stay clear of the broads weed. Oh, um, yeah. Actually, interesting fact, fact of the day. <laughs> What, what's the fact then, David? <laughs> We're operating the boat on the River Bure today. <laughs> Are we? And there's this lovely little track of river. And downstream we have Horston Mill. Um, Would you say this is a, um, a popular spot for boaters? <clears throat> well, most definitely not. However, maybe that's a bit of a nice thing. You want to unwind after a hard day at work. Hmm. Um, you know, just be by yourself. I mean, so many times you go to boating clubs and there's all different people there asking about your boats. Yeah, you, do, you don't always want that, do you? You don't. No. As you can see, it's, it's, a, it's a good stretch of water to be testing this. Look at this.
can feel there's a lot of vibrations present. Well, a fair bit. Now, what does that mean? That means the prop shaft is slightly unbalanced. Now, we don't want an unbalanced prop shaft, otherwise... Well, that's right. We don't want an unbalanced prop shaft. Because if you do, it could eventually shake the boat to pieces. However, if it is a manageable amount, it's okay. Oh, well, now we don't want the boat shattering to pieces, do we? <laughs> that wouldn't be good, no. However, I have limited the drop in 25%, so we should be okay. Now we're coming in for a perfect docking here then. We're now going to be removing the boat from the water. Let's just bring it around for one last one. Middle, turn them up. Middle. Bring it around, lovely there. Nice and controlled. Lovely job there. Look at that. Yes. <sighs> So how many hours do you reckon you put into this project then? Well, quite a few evenings, definitely. Hmm. Yeah. But it's time well spent.